On March 22nd, we commemorate the World Pregnancy Day. This day is celebrated to create awareness about the role and impact our life in the womb has in the physical, emotional, spiritual, and social wellness of all adults around the world. Education starts in the womb. We become a parent from the moment we start thinking about having a baby. Realizing how much the body, emotions, thoughts, and beliefs of a mother can influence the physical and psychological development of her baby in the womb is key to the formation of thriving, peaceful, and healthy human beings. During pregnancy, babies are conscious observers. They bring their own characteristics and also influence their mother's psyche. Parents are like genetic engineers, and this new understanding accentuates the impact mothers and fathers have on the formation of their child. In the womb, babies develop their first emotions, their senses and physical organs, based on how the mother experiences her life. All of their cells record everything the mother feels and react to it. Some genes are activated, others are silenced or even modified. Indeed, each mother's reaction to life becomes information that influences the baby's future development. It is paramount in today's world that parents are educated and informed about the importance of pregnancy for the formation of human qualities. It is their right. Prenatal education is key for nations to succeed in breaking the transgenerational cycle of war and selfishness. Conception and life in the womb orientate the formation of the brain's circuitry, either toward fear and defense, anxiety and aggression, or toward love and cooperation, trust and safety. Prenatal science and education need to be taught from preschool to college, and couples should prepare for this transition and for their new parenting roles. If we want to have world peace, we need womb peace. Preconception, pregnancy, birth, as well as the fourth trimester provide unique opportunities for improving human societies. Children born from a valued and harmonious pregnancy have a heightened capacity for learning, socializing, respecting nature and fellow humans. So when pregnant women feel safe and supported, one day their children will contribute to building a world without war or misery. We have no idea of the harmony that awaits human civilization when pregnant women understand they are building our common future. We need societies who know how to live with each other and also amongst themselves. It's time for our politicians to get invested in the beginning of life, a time when possibilities abound, and foster prenatal well-being by applying what science and ancient wisdoms teach us. By investing worldwide minimal resources on pregnancy, we can have an immeasurable return on public health and drastically dropping expenses related to mental and physical illnesses, social violence, and criminality. Transforming the future requires an urgent call to action. To be aware of prenatal life's relevance needs to become a fundamental human right in order to build a more sustainable, inclusive, and peaceful world. Prenatal health must be acknowledged as a public responsibility, a common good, to unlock the human potential in every person for the quality of human civilization. So I am Dr. Michel Audin. I introduce myself as an interdisciplinary student in human nature. Of course, I support the Universal Manifesto. I need to confirm that pregnancy starts at conception and is over when baby is separated from the placenta. Konnichiwa, San Fujin Kai no Ikeawa Akira desu. Umarere mai no kyoku nitsuite kenkyou shite imasu. 私たちは2024年3月22日に第1回世界妊娠デーを開催します。そして、プリネータウェルネスとチェンザウォールを世界に訴えていきます。毎年この会を世界同時開催して、世界の人と共有したいことがあります。それは、生まれる前からウェルビーイングを大切にすることで、より良い未来にすることができるということです。ぜひ、世界妊娠デー制定にお力添えください。よろしくお願いいたします。
My name is Andre Lalonde, obstetrician gynecologist from Canada, member of FIGO, the Federation International of Gynecology and Obstetrics. And I support the Pregnancy Day as it is the most important event in not only a woman's life, but in life itself. FIGO supports the World Pregnancy Day, which will be celebrated every year on March the 22nd. Join us. Me llamo Carmen Carballo Basadre y soy la presidenta de la Asociación Nacional de Educación Prenatal, ANEP España. Apoyo el Día Mundial del Embarazo porque considero que cuidando y educando a los seres con amor y en el amor desde el inicio de la vida, cuidamos del futuro adulto, de su salud física y psíquica y sentamos las bases de una sociedad sana en equilibrio y armonía. Hello from Norway, my name is Lena Engelsen, I'm the Secretary General for the National Foundation Person One Days. And I'm Inga Matutokusen, I'm a board member of the organization and I'm also a former Minister of Children, Gender Equality and Inclusion in Norway. And we support World Pregnancy Day because what happens in the womb can last a lifetime and politicians and policymakers need to realize this. All governments all around the world have to pay attention to the first 1,000 days and build an infrastructure for supporting those who are becoming mothers and also fathers and the child from the child lies within the womb. So in short, if we look after mothers, we also look after society. Happy World Pregnancy Day. Happy Thank World Pregnancy Day. Thank you. <laughs> 嗨，我是谢飞，来自中国北京。我是围产期心理健康领域的科普作家，同时也是一名围产期的心理咨询师。过去十三年，我一直陪伴和支持孕产阶段的父母有准备的受孕、怀孕和分娩。我非常支持啊，三月二十二日世界怀孕日的倡导，全世界的每个人都应该重新理解子宫生活的重要性，因为产前经历影响着我们每一个人的终生健康。在中国的生育。文化中也主张，母亲的子宫相当于胎儿的小宇宙。同时啊，每一位父母都是孩子的基因工程师。遗憾的是，在当今社会中的父母啊，经常会忽略自己的重要价值。我们提倡产前教育和生育健康，是每个人都应当享有的权利。I support the World Pregnancy Day proclamation on March 22 because prenatal education and health needs to become a fundamental human right. Parents are like genetic engineers, and they must be informed about their role in the formation of their child's foundations of life in the home. Olá, sou eu, Márcio Garcia, apresentador, empresário e pai de quatro filhos. Eu apoio a proclamação do Dia Mundial da Gestante no 22 de março. Precisamos criar mais consciência pelo mundo afora sobre o impacto que a vida intrauterina tem na saúde física e emocional de cada ser humano e, portanto, na saúde de toda a sociedade. Hi, I am Hakan Çoker from Istanbul, Turkey. I am an obstetrician, childbirth and doula educator and co-founder of Hand to Hand for Birth Association. I support the New World Pregnancy Day proclamation on March 22, which is organized by Prenatal Alliance. There can be no world peace without one peace. We obstetricians should realize more that birth is not only helping mothers in pathology to save their lives and their babies' lives. More than that, It is guiding mothers for a positive birth experience. This guidance starts in the womb. Babies learn in the womb. Babies record in the womb. They are conscious not only during pregnancy, but especially in labor and birth. That's why it is time for the obstetricians to guide the families for a conscious and positive birth experience. This will start paying more attention to birth psychology. Again, thank you very much for joining us on March 22, World Pregnancy Day, and thank you very much for supporting it. Thank you. My name is Susanne von der Emne. I am a pre and perinatal therapist from Germany with over 30 years of experience treating babies, children, and adults. The 
Evidence is now overwhelming on how our early experiences in the womb and shortly after birth have a direct and lifelong impact on our health, happiness and well-being. I strongly support a World Pregnancy Day in order to raise awareness on how we can give our babies the best start in life so that we can create a more healthy and peaceful world. Hi, I'm Alex from Italy and I'm a birth and postnatal doula. I support the World Pregnancy Day proclamation on March 22nd because there cannot be world peace without one peace. The role of a mother is crucial for the physical and emotional health of a baby in the womb and because prenatal education and health needs to become a fundamental human right. Parents are like genetic engineers and the role in the formation of the child in the womb is too often neglected in today's societies. Please do something. Hi, I'm Melinda Maxwell Smith. I've been a body worker for 40 years, specializing in birth trauma resolution. I wholeheartedly promote Pregnancy Day as an essential honoring of the miracle of gestation and birth. From conception to birth, we pass more milestones than we do in the entire rest of our lives. What happens in utero has huge impacts on our physical, mental, and emotional well-being. While we mammals are hardwired to survive and hardwired to heal at any age, preventing trauma is so much easier. Respect for all mothers, including Mother Earth, is crucial. Celebrating Pregnancy Day will help reconnect us to the truth that we must care for mamas and babies if we are to live peacefully and healthfully on this, our only planet. Quiero invitarles a reconocer la importancia del Día Mundial del Embarazo. Es el 22 de marzo y queremos que todos apoyen esa iniciativa porque el embarazo, o sea, el periodo perinatal es crítico en el bienestar de no solo la persona, sino la comunidad, el país, el mundo entero. Es una etapa en la vida que queremos dar más importancia en el rol de la madre, en sus sentimientos, en la forma que ella interactúa con su bebé en ese periodo. Y ese Día Mundial del Embarazo, el 22 de marzo, es una forma de apoyar esa importancia. Entonces, ojalá que hacen todo lo que pueden para apoyarnos para el 22 de marzo, Día Internacional del Embarazo. Hi, I am François Amig, osteopath and consultant in prenatal education. I live in the beautiful Rocky Mountains of British Columbia in Canada. I support profoundly the World Pregnancy Day proclamation on March 22. We need all of us to create more awareness around the world about the importance that life in the womb has on the physical and emotional health of every human being. And so on the prosperity and happiness and peace of each and all nation. We can all be part of womb peace to build world peace and we continue to be there with us. Have a great day.